What is up everyone, Stefan here from TechRat. Today I'll be showing you 10 tips and tricks on the Huawei E-Late. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay guys, starting off with the first tip, we're going to go ahead and go into the settings. Now this has to with, do with the navigation bar that we see at the bottom of the screen. We do have an on-screen navigation bar and it is set up in a certain way that is stock. So we're gonna go ahead and scroll all the way down to where it says navigation key right here. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. Now you can go ahead and tw you know change which one you would like. I know on some devices it is unchangeable and you can't change it around. I pre preferably like to have the recent on the left the uh, home button in the middle and I like to have the back button on the right side but you can go ahead and you know switch it around or flip it or whatever but something else that I found out that, that I thought was pretty nice was right here there's a little button that adds uh, the fourth button right here and you can actually go ahead and go to home screen like regular and if you click on this button it drops the uh, it drops the drop down menu down so I thought that was pretty cool uh, pretty cool tip you know some people do have really small hands so if someone you know were to go like this instead of reaching all the way up for the drop down menu you can go like that and you're, you're chilling you can click wherever you want and if you want to put it back up all you have to do is click on that again so that is the first tip Okay, so the next tip is actually gonna be in the settings again. So we're gonna go ahead and go into the settings and then we're gonna actually scroll all the way down to where it says about phone. Now I know a lot of people are confused on how to get developer options, uh, but it's pretty much the same as Android OS because this is Android OS with a huge skin over it, uh, which is the Huawei UI or whatever. So you're gonna wanna go to about phone right here. Once you click on about phone, you're gonna wanna go to build number just as you would on a regular Android OS or stock device. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and click on that until it says you are a developer now once you says you are a developer you can actually go into the developer options now and this developer options would pop up at that moment and you would want to go ahead and click on that and you can change certain things like USB debugging or me OEM unlocking and different stuff like that that you wouldn't usually have on your phone okay guys so number three is actually make your phone faster now this is one of my pet peeves on Huawei phones their skins are so damn heavy that they make the Android animation super super slow so just as an example I want to show you if you hold down the screen like this it takes you like two seconds to go ahead and get your wallpapers widgets transitions and settings what I really really like to do is actually scale down the animations and put them at I would say about 0 0.5 I put those even on stock devices stock Android uh, but if you scroll all the way down you're gonna go ahead and get window animations transition animation skill and animator duration scale now once you have these you can go ahead and set them to 0 0.5 now they are preset to 1x but I would go ahead and scale scale them down to 0 0.5 that is my preference I really do not like hold on let's let's take that off I really really do not like how it's set to one and you can even turn the animations off if you would really like the animations off but once you do that you can actually go into the head in the home screen and as you see it's way faster than usual and if you want to actually just take them all the way off you can go inside of here let's go to animation off let's go to animation off and animation off right here boom boom see no animations way faster scrolling through the screens going into apps they just pop up going into this app just pops up everything just pops up and is there uh, they're waiting for you so yeah that's one of the tips that I really really love to show people so the next tip is actually going to be in the settings so we're still going to be chilling in the settings for a little bit right now and we're gonna actually go ahead and go to display now you can personalize your display so damn much on Huawei phones. That's one of the things that I love about Huawei devices is there's so much customization and personalization on these devices that you can make it really your own. So you can go ahead and personalize your wallpaper and you can randomly change wallpapers on the home screen and you can put what interval you want every five minutes, every 10 minutes, whatever you would like. You can also change the font size, the textile, the screensaver. There's also an eye comfort mode, which I really love that you can turn on. You can turn on eye comfort and basically takes the blue light off of the screen 
I think we similarly have something on Samsung that you can go ahead and do. Uh, but we also have brightness, color temperature. Now I thought this was really cool. You can go to default, you can have a warm or you can have a cold color and you can put it wherever you want on whatever color you would like to have the shade of screen. So I thought that was a really, really cool tip. There's other stuff you can do. Sleep, screen turns off when inactive for 10 minutes. You can make it you know, as much as you want, 15 seconds to 10 minutes. You guys can go ahead and customize that yourself. But I thought that was really cool how you can customize your display on the Huawei Elite. Okay, so something that I thought was awesome is is number five, and this is actually a power saving mode. This is a lot. This is a tip that a lot of people don't know, and it's going to be really useful to you if you have the Huawei Late. So you're going to want to actually go ahead and go to where it says battery. So where's battery at? Let's go ahead and go up to battery right there boom click on battery and you have stuff right here we have power saving mode so it says limits background app activity disable email auto sync and system sounds and reduces visual effects to save power now that's one of the modes we have we have power saving mode but we also have an ultra power saving mode which I thought was absolutely dope and if we go ahead and read the little thing on that it says only select apps are available recommend when the battery level is low so they have something similar to that on Samsung you can go ahead and turn that on it says in ultra power saving mode only select apps are available enable you can go ahead and enable that and you can run your battery for much longer than it actually is running so if you're in an emergency ever and you just need to use your phone and texting app then I think this is a very very good mode to use so number six is actually changing transitions. If you guys don't know how to do this, all you have to do is hold down on the screen. Some people actually don't know how to do this, but you guys can go ahead and change transitions. Click on transitions, scroll to which one you want. Uh, page looks cool, uh, rotate looks cool as well. So just click when you want and then back out and that should be your transition from now. Now whether you're visiting somewhere cold like Canada, New York, Chicago, or anywhere that snows at all, you know, some of you do have gloves and you don't wanna take your gloves off because you're here Heat does come through your head and your hands and your feet so you definitely need to keep your gloves on in those cold conditions so this is a mode that you can actually go ahead and use go to settings and actually scroll down to where it says assistance once you get a smart assistance click on that and there's actually a glove mode right here you can turn it on and use your phone with your gloves now I believe this makes your phone more sensitive uh, and more susceptible to touches so you can go ahead and use this in glove mode now and uh, I thought that was really cool Okay, so the next tip I thought that was absolutely dope is actually in motion control. So you're gonna go ahead and stay in smart assistance, the thing that we were just using right now. Go to motion control. Once you're in here, you can flip to mute. So mute incoming calls. This is mute sounds and stop vibrations from incoming calls and timers. All you have to do is go like that. So it's really easy. All you have to do is that and you can go ahead and mute timers and alarms. Say you're you know tired in the morning, don't wanna hear your alarm, you set an alarm in accident, or you have a boyfriend or girlfriend that keeps calling you over and over again that's an X and you just are really pissed then you can just go like that and mute the incoming call and you can go ahead and turn that on but that is a really really cool setting that I found out okay so the next tip I'm going to show you is 5g internet now a lot of people don't know about 5g internet and a lot of people don't know that they're even paying for a 5g gigahertz band now if you see in your Wi-Fi, if you go ahead and go into your Wi-Fi right here and you go to Wi-Fi and you see we do have 5G. Now the, the, the 5G that's next to the internet connection, so you see NetGary 11, this is NetGary 11 5G. So the, the first one is actually a 2.4 gigahertz band and the next one is a 5 gigahertz band. Now the thing about 5 gigahertz bands are they are faster than the 2.4 gigahertz bands, hence 5G. So if you guys wanna go ahead and use 5G, this device actually does have 5G capabilities on there so if you guys want to go ahead and connect to your 5g thing it's going to be the same password that you have on your uh, WPS the same password that you've been using and you could put that into the 5g one and you can go ahead and use that so that's really really awesome to see on a $65 phone it's actually pretty crazy okay, so the very very last trick is someone who gets confused by all the settings and all the different stuff you can do on this phone and really just want some plain Jane thing maybe you're passing this phone down to your son maybe you're passing it down to your cousin someone that really doesn't know about the Android UI or the Huawei UI in general the huge skin we have over it um, if you guys really want you know a really simple mode you guys all have to do all you have to do is go to advanced settings scroll all the way down so it says advanced settings and go into simple mode 
and it says enjoy a minimalistic and clean home screen with a simple layout and large icon so this is for someone who doesn't use all the apps doesn't use the Facebook the YouTube the Instagram the stuff like that they're just really plain Jane they want the gallery music camera contacts messaging and phone and the weather and time up top all you have to do is apply that and you should be Gucci and yeah that's all you really have to do and it kind of looks like a Windows phone to me uh, kind of looks pretty dope actually in my opinion but that's all you have to do you get your dialer you get messaging contacts camera play music gallery chrome setting standard mode uh, but yeah that's some good stuff and if you really want to go ahead and take this off all you have to do is go back into settings go into simple mode and then exit simple mode and then you will have your regular mode back up again that you have on your Huawei Elite yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed that video please leave a like down below if you guys enjoyed it as well subscribing if you guys are not a part of the tech right fam already this has been tech right hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are peace out guys